Composting Together by Natalie Duncan and Mia Montañez. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm an apple. Right now, it's the harvest season in the apple orchard. This is a really fun time because everyone's out and about, but it's also a kind of scary time for us apples. Our animal friends tell us stories, stories passed down for generations. They say that there are a lot of places an apple can end up during harvest season, and not all of them are fun. According to Marva, the moth, the best is when we get to be a snack for a human. That's really cool. It might sound scary for us to want to be eaten, but what's really scary for us apples is a whole different place. I've never seen it, but Bryn the bird told me about it. The humans call it the landfill. It's this place outside where all of the things that the humans put in their trash cans get piled up. It's good because it means that this trash isn't in their homes, but from what I've heard, it's not a fun place for an apple or any of our fruit and vegetable friends to live. You see, us apples, we know we're more than just trash. We've got a lot of good energy inside of us and we want to do something good with that good energy. That's why we like it when humans and other creatures eat us, because then we're sharing our good energy. But my friends say that even if apples don't get eaten, we don't have to end up in the trash. They say there's this thing called composting. It's kind of like what happens in the forest when all the leaves fall on the ground, or what happens in the apple orchard when all of the apples fall. It's when the humans take their old food scraps, like apple cores, but also other things too like dried flowers and eggshells and piles of leaves and old spaghetti. And then they put it in a big pile and they mix it up and they have to wait a bunch. What they want is a mixture of water and air and then fresh stuff like apples and also dry stuff like dried up apple tree leaves. After they get a good mixture, some really cool science stuff starts happening. All sorts of good bacteria and bugs and other creatures come out to play in the pile of compost. These creatures eat the stuff the humans didn't want, and then, after a little bit of time, they turn that waste into something really awesome. The awesome thing is the stuff the humans call compost. It is full of super good energy that helps make plants grow. Humans put it on their fields and on their gardens and even on their plants inside. It has lots of nutrients that make soil happy. As an apple, I know that happy soil is super important if we want plants and animals to have healthy places to grow, and if we want humans to have healthy places to work and play. From what my friends tell me, composting sounds really cool. I asked them, why don't all humans do it? My friends said that it can be really hard for every human to find the time and space to make compost. But another thing they said, something they said they'd tell the humans if they could talk to them, is that humans are pretty good at sharing, and if someone's neighbor or friend has a compost pile, a lot of the time they would be happy to take new food waste from the people in their communities. And some farms, both in the city and farther away, have places where anyone can drop off their food waste. Then lots of people can help turn things like old apples into a really awesome compost to feed to the soil. So, Remember, it's harvest season for me, and it's a really exciting time. But also, I don't want to end up in a landfill. That doesn't sound fun. What would be really cool would be if every town and city made it really easy for every human to turn their food waste into compost. If they had compost trucks, like trash trucks, but for compost. That way, people could compost easily, even if they didn't have a backyard or lived near a town. Maybe for you, there's someone or some farm near you who has a pile of compost where you could bring the food your family doesn't want. But don't worry if there isn't. You can help out by telling other people how cool compost is or by trying to keep food out of the trash in your family and in your community. Thanks so much for listening to this story. Maybe I'll run into you sometime in the apple orchard. Bye for now. Tony.